Hey guys, that's Monk 91 here, so we're back for more Final Fantasy 7. And Tifa's basically saying, I wasn't the Cloud that came here five years ago. I waited, but Cloud never came. It wasn't Cloud. <laughs> Those two that were ordered here uh, were Sethroth and another person. I think I know who this other person is. Alright, let's go. Yep, just who I thought it was. <laughs> okay. You mean the soldier who came here wasn't Cloud? Yep. That's not his name. There's nothing I can say. You must find your answer yourself. If you can't, then you will continue. And take your time, slowly, but little by little, okay? Okay, so. If you want to know who that person is, that would be Zack. Now, if the name Zack doesn't sound familiar, if you've only played through this in the sequel, uh. Something, something Cerberus, which is a really fun game, which I plan to get to after this, um, just for the sequel was. The prequel, Crisis Core, features the main character, Zack, who is who they're referring to in this whole part. He's actually been referred to once in the game, um, but yeah, that was back when he had gone... When we had gone to that one town that was basically just had a Shinra reactor that had blown up, they had asked if they would ever heard a soldier named Zack. That was Zack. That starry night at the well, I promise that night. What if the memory was just a lie? Don't hurry, Cloud. Don't come to the answer too quickly. <laughs> okay. Yep. I guess that wasn't the or that is the one we're supposed to go to. Man, this is insane. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. Okay, go uh, from the beginning. Okay, try and remember Cloud. Well, there's Cloud and Tifa as young kids. That's right. I was wearing these clothes. That's you, too. You were so small then. But yeah, it's, of course, the kids. What do you expect? Thank you. <laughs> Sethra said once, or once said, Cloud makes, uh, made up his memories by listening to my stories. Did you imagine the sky? Do you not remember it? <laughs> that night, the stars were gorgeous. It was just like Cloud and I. We were talking at the well. That's why I continue to believe that you were the real Cloud. Wow. This is... I still believe you're the Cloud from Nibelheim. But you don't have, believe in yourself. This is kind of fucked up. These memories aren't enough. <laughs> it's just that he wants to acknowledge me that it was actually there and that this was all fucking real. Cloud, what about your other memories? Not my me not memories. A memory is something that has to be consistently recalled, right? That's why sometimes it can be mistaken and a different thing. But if different things from memory walk deep in within your heart, that is why it must be a fake. If he could could recall up that memory, that's it. What about some memories that has to do with me? Uh, okay. But then say something. I'll remember it too. Then we know it's our memory. Talk about me. Anything. Something important to you. That's now that you mention it. Why did you join the soldiers in the first place? I always thought it was a sudden decision you made. I was devastated. I wanted to be noticed. <laughs> I thought I could get strong. Well, stronger. I thought I could get someone. To notice. 
Someone knows who. Who? You know who. You that who. <laughs> wow. Tifa, did you forget the, about those days? Look, I... I'm sorry, but what are we talk? What are you talking about? This is fucking insane. No, it's alright. We all have a hard t time back then. So you were so busy with your own thing, I, it's only natural you don't remember me back then. <laughs> wow. Back then. It's important to me, but I, ha I have to say, but it's a very important memory. Do you want to see it? Okay, I guess we talked to a sealed up secret wish. Tender memories no one can ever know. Let's see the memories that he does not want to show. This is very dark, very secluded. Okay. Talk to the little one. Yep. Do you know where this window goes to, Tifa? Fine, I'll go. This goes to her room, I'm guessing. Because that would make sense. Called it. <laughs> my room. It was my first time there. What was? I only used to look up at at it from the outside. Hey, look. Cloud's coming. You think he wants to come in? What was the first day you came into my room? That's right. We live next to each other, but I don't really know you all that well. I know I've known you since you were a child and always thought we were close. But, no, this is deep. Now that you mention it, I don't recall you ever being in my room. Tifa always used to be with these threesome. <laughs> That's right. I used to think they were all stupid. What? <laughs> you were all childish laughing at every stupid thing. Yeah. But we were all children back then. I know. I'm the one that was stupid. Heh. <laughs> I really wanted to play with everyone, but I was never allowed into the group. Then, okay. then later I began to think I was different. That I was different from those immature kids. That, that then maybe. Oh, we got somebody on the cloud. <laughs> Just maybe they would invite me in. I thought that might help uh, happen, so I hung around. I was so prejudged, adjusted, uh, whatever, and weak. That night, I called Tifa out to the well. I thought to myself, Tifa would never come, that she hated me. Yeah, it was so sudden, I was a bit surprised. God, this is insane, but... It's true that we weren't that close, but... After you left town, I really thought about you a lot. I used to wonder how Cloud was doing. I wonder if Cloud was able to get into the soldiers. I started reading the newspapers thinking that you might be, there might be an article about you. Thanks, Steve. Tell him what you told me later. He'll probably be so happy. Okay. Wait. He's not going to remember any of this. What happened on this day? Was this a special day? That this was the day. Was it the day that Tifa's mother? I'm guessing this was the day that they're referring to the big fire. The day that the mo her mother died. Okay, wow. 
I want to see my mom. <laughs> God. I wonder if there's anything beyond the mount that mountain. Wow. Mount Nemo, uh, Nebel is scary. Many people have died up there. No one crossed that. No one's crossed that mountain alive. How about the those that died? Did mom pass through these mountains? Who the fuck was her mom? Cause I feel like she'd be someone important now, but she's never been referred to previously. So I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna be that important or if it's just something else. I'm going. Those three, if they're smart, they stay. Well, the one's following still to a point. Alright, I guess they're all gonna follow. Nope, the one's like, um, no, I'm afraid. I don't want to do the air. That's what's gonna happen to all of them. I'm surprised they're actually able to go. Oh, well, there's Cloud. I'm surprised that they're able to go. Considering that how strong the monsters are in this area. And yeah. Let's see what happens. Okay. They're backing out like, like little kids should. But I. Uh, Whoa. Okay, guys, this is probably a good place to call an episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and peace.